This is called Narcanic Necromancy, and as a trigger warning, this is about opioids and overdose. In the past, I built arguments with facts and information. Nobody cared. Now I'm through with logical data accumulation if no lives will be spared. I'm too numb for numbers. I've stayed correct and watched my friends die, so I'd like to be helped back to a place of peace, but don't want to lie. Not down with them, not yet, and not to your faces. I can't lie, I won't lie, not about this. I write to cope, not because I'm bored. I'm a member of the Narcan zombie horde. That's right, I died, but I came back, instilled with a burning urge to attack and wax poetic about the dangers of smack. But first things first, I hunger for brains. I'll reassure you though, that they're not all the same. The ones I'm seeking are really quite specific. I'd settle for less, but what to me sounds terrific is for the horde to fall upon those behind all our deaths. Pharma kingpins, lobbies, politicians, and the rest. I just wanna rip the heart straight from their chests and feed until there's nothing of any of them left. Sip some traces in our shit after we digest. And don't use that to fertilize your fields. It's poison, just like the drugs they push. They ain't toys, son. Their toxins killed me, but I've been restored. Joined up with the Narcan zombie horde. We've been silent too long, now we can't be ignored. If my story sounds familiar, if it strikes a chord, then I guess you know someone who went and joined. If our name is unknown, well, it's one I just coined. But the label's on point, we're an army of undead. And of yet, changes aren't in place to slow our further spread. That they start once we find and feast on Richard Sackler's head. That was probably too specific. Forget what I just said. Yeah. Yo, who the fuck came up with the term adulteration? Like, hey, if we tell people these drugs are those drugs, nobody taking drugs will make it to adulthood. Yeah. Let's call it that. Adult negation, adulteration, addiction can kill via liquor and pill, or with pure fentanyl. Now my mind can't be still. Yeah. Breathing, not proceeding, too much needling in their veins. No one's blinking, no one's thinking, no more action in their brains. Yeah. Hearts stop beating, life's receding. Finally, they escape their pains. Yeah. They're done dying, I'm left crying. Loss is all that now remains. Yeah. My dead friends, the ones who weren't revived into the horde, they fell victim to fate. Wait, I'm at Fent, and at this point, all my energy's just about spent. But I'm still here, I've got no choice but to fight. It's getting rough though, I'm running purely on spite. Yeah. I would think enough hopes and dreams have already been shattered, but I got the message, clear as day, junky lives have never mattered. Mm. The horde, we aren't alive, but we're back and we're hungry, so I'm stating our demands, not so humbly. It's long overdue for these things to start changing, time for some socio-cultural rearranging, the passage of life-saving legislation, giving harm reduction practices prioritization. This war on drugs has got to stop. Everyone lost their lives, their communities, their friends, their families, their sanity, come on, come on. any remaining tattered shreds of belief in a possibility of justice. I would settle for justice over brains. It'd still be a sweet reward. But so long as I'm here repping the Narcan zombie horde, I don't want to hear that all legal options are being explored. If you live by it, then you're condemned to die by the sword. Yeah. Yeah.